we'll go back to Kanehurst Castle, where we met the uh, Vile Blood Queen, and then told you we told Arthur about. I mean, Alfred about her, and then Alfred murdered her. Now she's a gross, moving globule of flesh, which I have now picked up. Okay, cool. That's not disturbing. It rides eerily. Yes, that's one word to give it. So yeah, this, there, there's still something to do here. Go figure. More weird things to do. Where, where does this one show up so I can look at it? What remains of Annalise, Blood Queen of Canehurst. This pinkish lump of flesh remains warm as if cursed. All hail the undying queen of blood. So, we, there's something we can do with this. This doesn't really matter that much because I'm, I'm about to finish the game and everything's going to reset, but we'll take a look at it. <laughs> Welcome back to the Altered Despair. This is where we killed the Daughter of Chaos, the optional boss that was after the weirded alien boss and a string of optional areas, which is like 90% of this game, come to think of it. It's this weird thing. That lo it looks kind of like the vacuous spider head, really, by and large. And we can offer our flesh. Well, we can offer the pink flesh of the queen to it. Time flows in reverse for this scrap of flesh. So yeah. Something interesting is going to happen if we head back. What's that? She's back. She's alive once again. As if she never got straight up murdered. Such impudence. Defiled are we, yet still queen. We shall not give audience to an ill-mannered beast. N you're, not a, you're not a fan of me? We shall not give audience to an ill-mannered beast. Get thee gone. Oh, that's not nice. Didn't I just save you? Oh, right. Right, we're supposed to- I forgot we're supposed to kneel from back here. Visitor. Moon-scented hunter. I am Annalise, Queen of Castle Kanehurst. <laughs> Ruler of the Vile Bloods. Yet- Wow. Weird. She's not even gonna, like... Not even gonna kinda mention the fact that she got straight up murdered and brought back to life. I guess it did say time flows in reverse, so maybe that di maybe that didn't mean she was just healing and coming back to life. Maybe she literally went back. Maybe she doesn't even remember meeting me before. But hey, she died. Now she's back. Doesn't matter. Game's about to end. <laughs> but at least that's that's one little detail taken care of. A number of people were certainly happy to tell me about it. So if you didn't gather it from my unsubtle hints, this is very likely the finale of this series. Not counting, you know, New Game Plus and stuff like that. And a big part of that is going to be these key items we got here. One third of the umbilical cord, a great relic also known as the Cord of the Eye. A great relic, also known as the Court of the Eye. Every infant Great One has this precursor to the umbilical cord. Every Great One loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the Pale Moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. You used to get insight and, so they say, eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what that truly entails. Provost Willem sought the cord in order to elevate his being and thoughts to those of a great one by lining his brain with eyes the only choice he knew if man were to ever match their greatness is that the same text again nope every great one loses his child and then yearns for a surrogate this cord granted mensis audience with mergo but resulted in the stillbirth of their brains well time to start eating yum 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 that's not eating. Everyone lied to me. They were like, you you need to eat the umbilical cords. That's just using in the weird, mysterious way where you squeeze something and then it becomes a part of you because of the magic of Souls games, I guess. Same way you use Souls and stuff like that. Very distinctly, though, not eating it. I'm not biting that. Also, my face is covered, so that's a detail. Do I want to wear this set? Uh... I don't know, the Hunter set is pretty freaking swagger. I figured I'd mix some of the different pieces of equipment we've found throughout the game. Just to kind of, I don't know, represent where we've come this far. I might change it if I find that the boss is, uh, has certain types of attacks I want to resist. But I'm using the Crow Feather Garb, because god damn it, I worked so hard for that. The Madman's Hood. The, uh, Ash Bone Leggings. 
which are uh, from also from the uh, Chalice Dungeons, and the Hargul Gloves, because why not? So let's go, might as well remind ourselves why real quick. Gammon awaits you, at the foot of the great tree. Go on, good hunter. Farewell, good Don't worry, I'm sure he- oh, I'm getting stuck on the- <laughs> A little less dramatic when I do that. Don't worry, I'm sure he just wants to give us hugs and kisses. And he just wants to send us in our way, because we've accomplished so much on his behalf. Starting to wonder what the story of this game is. It's getting harder to, to keep track of this stuff. So, ooh. Dram are, are we going to fight on flower beds? Is the game going to have have trouble rendering these flowers while we fight and drop the frame rate? Because that would be a bummer. Hello? I don't see an NPC around. Oh, maybe up there. Yep, that's, that's Garman. Up by the tree. In plain sight. Kind of just want to walk slowly through this area, though. Look how, look at this look. All these flowers, the various uneven. Oh, underneath all this rock, all these flowers are tombstones. And there's these places where you, I guess you could call it. I guess you could say that they're just meant for growing vines. But they're, whenever I see something like that, it tends to be for uh, hanging bodies up as an effigy. Never the most positive sign. I get the feeling German's not going to be really needing his uh. I get the feeling he doesn't need that wheelchair, which makes me think, when was the last time I encountered a character in fiction who sat in a wheelchair that actually needed their wheelchair? Because it seems like everyone's able to secretly get back up or whatever, and it's like, what, what? I don't even believe in wheelchairs anymore. Good hunter, you've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. Yeah, people are going to have fun explaining the story and interpreting this. The question is whether you think that he literally means we're asleep right now and that we're going to wake up, like he, they, we've somehow accomplished something, but also this isn't real. Or if this is all metaphorical and he's just like, you fixed this world, but now it's time for you to die. And we're just going to assume that other worlds exist afterwards, but maybe not. Anyway, I'm going to refuse because otherwise the, the credits just roll right here. <laughs> Dear out. Dear, what was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Garman joins the hunt. Garman has a side sword and I want it. I want it bad. Alright, I have no idea what this fight entails, aside from the fact that it's another hunter type dude. Probably starts out feeling kind of like Gascoigne. This could be rough. It's, it's kind of a bummer. This is such a dramatic cutscene and everything. It'd probably be really cool. It'd probably be a little cooler if you had a better idea of what the story was, but they're really metaphorical and vague and Eastern storytelling like usual with this game, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, God. That escalated quickly. Nice to see you, Mr. Hunter. Oh, God. So he, like, attacked in a full circle? This is going to take a little trouble to get used to. No! Okay, I'm not- this- his moveset feels weird. This is gonna cause me some problems, I think. Okay. Uh... Not successfully dodging or reposting or doing attacks. I might just take the death at this point, instead of trying to heal. Nope, that's not a repost. You must accept your death. Man, he swings fast. Okay. Cool. Yep. Yep, he's good at hitting me back. <laughs> he's definitely hitting me whenever I swing at him. Uh-oh. Well, I didn't even land my attack and he basically killed me. So that's a good start. 
Yep. Okay. I decided I could use a touch more physical resistance. Is it weird that this is my tankiest armor in the game? I guess it is bone armor, but still. Just, uh, this game's so full of clothing options instead of actual armor that this is the biggest physical defense one. I'm gonna try to do hit and run. Might not be the best option with this particular weapon. Let's see. I just kind of have to learn how to bait out certain attacks and how to react to them. Uh oh, care no! Accidental three hit combo. I accidentally queued up the moves. Oh, that looks nasty. Oh, he's super vulnerable to an attack after that one, isn't he? Oh no, I missed! Okay, so this seems to work better, is try to bait out an attack. And then just hit him. There we go. I can do that. The tough part is, uh... The tough part is just... Figuring out his moves and being able out of range enough. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Don't be in there. Don't want to be up in his face right there. Alright. Ow! That's not my hit. That's not my hit. Double swing. I'm learning your moveset. You're in trouble now. Oh crap, why did I do that? Got greedy. That was not worth it. It cost me more than him to get another hit. Huh. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. That got a little weird. Here comes the double slash. Uh-oh. Oh my god, how did I... <laughs> it's so disheartening to miss. Oh, he's changing weapons. What? Uh-oh. Okay, now everything's different. Uh-oh, he's got a gun? Oh, see? His gun doesn't do a billion damage. Why does that asshole in the Grand Cathedral do more damage than the final boss with his gun? It's because he's bullshit is why. Fuck the guy in the Grand Cathedral. Even German, even German knows not to use an overpowered gun. So maybe... See, is this is this strategy... Oh yeah, he's gonna be harder to avoid now. He's gonna chase me and he has a ranged attack, so maybe... Now the fight changes? Maybe hit and run tactics work worse scythe, but now I need to want to maybe go behind him. Avoid combos. Oh god. That was nasty. Oh god, how long is this combo gonna go? Oh god. So many- so much damage coming at me all at once? I don't appreciate none of that. Holy crap. Yo dog, I heard you like combo, so I put combo in your combo. Ow! Please get behind him. There we go. That's what I was going for. Nope. Alright, I feel like I'm immediately making progress here. I just needed to make a breakthrough on how to approach the scythe part. But now that I'm past that... Oh yeah, he's actually staggering now, too. The overhead swing seems to do that to him. What's... Now what's gonna happen? What's he do now? Ow. Ow. I don't appreciate that. That was rude. Is he different now or just stronger? He didn't change weapons this time. The... F Really, the scythe was only a brief little thing? That wasn't going to be his whole thing? It seems so iconic to me. Hi, right, buddy. Oh, he's not staggering right now, is he? I should probably get away from him. That seems like an AoE. A lot of... Yep. That's, that's roughly standard with AoE poses for bosses. I could have probably got another hit in real quick. Oh, scythe is back. Okay. Interesting. Go back to baiting out moves. Oh, crap. He took more of a step forward than I thought he would. Oh. oh god. What's that? What's happening? Oh my god, he's super Japanese. This is the most anime of fights. <laughs> oh, no, he dodged it. Alright, this is gonna be tough. Still, though, made it through the second phase without dying. That's good progress. This guy won't take as many attempts as I thought he would, probably. No! Ah, uh, double miss. That's such an easy attack to hit him after two. Oh, back to sword mode. Okay. I feel like I, I, feel like I can manage this part. Oh, okay. Having a, having a little trouble actually landing blows. God, I love the fact that his shotgun sucks. <laughs> I love that his shotgun doesn't fucking obliterate me, because that would make this fight so much worse. That's how shotguns are supposed to work. They're just they're just supposed to. Oh God. Wait, no, 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 no. What? No, what? Why did he visceral me? He, he wait. He can. Do, oh God. He, just when I was talking about his his shotgun sucking, he has a fucking he has a visceral attack. Like just a boom. I put you in parry mode. Oh no. What? What? I thought I dodged it. That's my whole point of dodging was to try to avoid that attack. Uh oh. Okay, let's get away. From, let's get some distance here. That hurt. That was impolite, sir. Don't take kindly to that strategy. 
Hey, buddy. King. That was pointless. That did not do much damage. <laughs> King. Yeah, it's, that's garbage. That's the, that's no. Oh no! Don't die! That don't die! Don't die because of that dumb joke. Okay, back to double sword mode. <sighs> what? Ah. That's anticlimactic. I was doing well. And then dash mode, instant kill. Fuck you. We're off to a good start there. Let's get some uh, parry practice, maybe. Oh, no. That must have been too late. Oh, no, that was it. Nope. The problem with trying to parry somebody in this game is that the parry doesn't really trigger properly sometimes. As in, like, it doesn't stop the attack. It You still get hit by the attack, which means you're on, you're flat on your ass. But you parried him! I'm like, no, if I parried him, I wouldn't be on my ass. There we go. How much damage does it do? It does, like, four hits worth of damage. That's actually not that a lot. That's not a lot of damage. All right. The tough part's figuring out what attack he's gonna do, because if he does that weird... Ow. If he does the weird scythe reach attack where he hooks me in, kind of hard to react to, but other moves I can deal with better. But I'm, yeah, I'm burning through blood vials. There we go. So there's definitely some moves that are easier to parry than others. There we go. Got a few hit quick hits in when I, I knew he was about to weapon change, so I figured I'd try to get some quick, cheap hits in. This part could be tougher. This is probably two-hand sword mode. I don't know, do I want to try to parry this one? Yeah, this might be problematic for me. Okay, no, I got him anyway. Wow, this is actually an effective way of restoring hit points, because the parry means I get my hit points back. He's already changing again. There we go, a few quick hits in. Watch out. Nope, missed. <laughs> way to go, me. Uh. Don't appreciate that. Alright, we're doing okay. We're actually doing relatively okay right now. Oh god. I got killed by invisible damage. Death by weird ghost wind attack. Oh, he's always back in sword mode. Alright. Here we go. Oh no, sword versus sword. T gun versus gun. Who will be the true parrier? Nobody, apparently. That wasn't very nice, though. I really hope I can get this attempt down, because I don't want to farm vials. Although, there's more after this, so I guess I probably will still have to. God damn it. A little tough figuring out when to do the, uh, gun attack. Oh, god damn it, that was a gun attack, too. <laughs> I'm like, that's an obvious time to parry. Oh, he's not using a sword. Oh, there's the sword that I thought he wasn't going to use, because he normally... Damn it. <laughs> oh, he has so many things. It's... Oh, god damn it. I thought that was a weird ranged attack. Huh. I thought that attack I thought that attack went in front of him like a cone. It's kind of hard to get a good line of sight on what it looks like, the actual range of the attack. All I know is sometimes I get sometimes I die and sometimes I don't. Oh fuck, I have to farm vials. This is a dumb mechanic. I don't suppose I can just ask you to sit down and just just give up. That'd be nice. You want to just surrender? You should just you should surrender. So the nice thing about the visceral attack is it does like 2,000 damage. He has about 14,000 hit points. So seven visceral attacks and he's done. I'm not counting any actual attacks you do in the middle. Okay, that would have been a good time to parry him. Oh shit! My sh I did pull the shotgun blast. It just didn't go off in time, I guess. I was like, oh, second attack. So it's so telegraphed. I can do this, and I apparently didn't nail it. Nope, that didn't count. I thought, I, thought, I thought I'd get him during the second swing. Nope. Got a quick hit in at least. Come on. Buddy. Nope, didn't nail it. Nope, oh, that was a mistake. I thought, it, I thought he'd get stunned a little bit by my attack! No! Nice way to cap myself off a little bit getting a hit in, but this is not a good attempt. And I'm gonna have to probably farm after this. Come on, my shotgun didn't go off. Such a bummer. No, you don't get to change weapons. Not till I say so. No, I don't want you to change weapons. 
I really punished him during his weapon change animation. That's such a good way to abuse damage out of him. Come on. Come on. There we go. The tough thing about this phase is that, is that those rolls are really good times to parry him, but he also might just shoot you instead, which is not parryable. That was weird. That was a weapon swing, right? That should count as a parry. Hyakaka! Okay, time to get out of there. He's mad at me. What's he doing? Oh, that's the AoE. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Oops. Hey, buddy. Oh shit! I just blew like all my health, all my blood on. I just blew like all of my uh, bullets on that. That was a bad idea. I'll get a few of those back real quick. That's a freaky teleport move. I'm pretty sure that just kills you outright. Yeah. I, that I should not have done that cannon attack because it used up all my bullets. I forgot about how heavily I'm using bullets right now compared to normal. Alright, come on. Yes! We're, oh, we're getting so close. We're getting so close and I'm getting better at the parry, apparently. Come on. Nope. Nope. Still don't know how that attack works or where it goes or what to, where to dodge. I'm pretty much screwed whenever he does that mid-air attack. Ow! When he does that flying attack, I'm not really sure what to do. Oh, cool, there it goes again. I guess I'll just die now. Yeah, what the fuck? It just follows a weird path? I ran- I thought it- I thought it was- I thought it shot in front of him at first, but then I tried running behind him earlier and it didn't work. Here comes the AoE. Let's just go ahead and stay out of that for now. Is he getting more powerful when that happens, or is it just an AoE? Fuck. God damn it, I hate that attack. What do I do? I ran under him before and it didn't work. Oh no, don't swing at him. That's a bad time to swing at him. That was a bad attack. I'm out of resources here. I'm gonna die. Oh my god! No, no! Damn it! That was such a good time to... Ah. Uh, that was such a good time to get a visceral, and I was just... I totally blew it. Alright. Oh, this guy is scary. He's so scary. Yes! Finish him. I did it! I did it with visceral attacks! That's a pretty fucking good way to kill that boss. Old Hunter Badge, way to go. Huh. Yo, dog, I heard you didn't have enough nightmares yet, so we gave you the moon presence. Alright. So, Garman gave me no blood. Okay. Well, I don't have to worry about losing any to this fight then. So, there's a good chance I'm gonna lose here and have to get my resources back. I'm gonna try to run behind him. We'll see how that works. He he actually reminds me right now of the uh, bloodletting beast. Ow. Especially the part where I'm having getting my ass kicked by him, apparently. That's, that's a good reminder. <laughs> Mother... Okay, yeah, that... This is gonna take some practice. And I have to go farm old Yarnum now, because I have two blood vials. <laughs> and that's total, though. There's no more in the stash. <laughs> Alright, Moon Presence, I defeated the first hunter. You're not gonna stop me from beating the game. Oh. Big nasty attack. Hitting you with a sword. Yeah! I got a bigger sword than. Ow. Fear my giant sword. Yeah! Overhead swing. Ow. Taking some hits. Taking some hits I do not appreciate. Get out of there. Quick heal. Oop, I missed. Way to go, me. These seem to be some very evadable attacks. He just reduced my hit points to nothing, didn't he? What the hell? And I got them all back, mostly? Interesting. What are you doing, buddy? You just having a nice little party with yourself? What is happening? There's blood everywhere. There's blood everywhere. 
He is low on hit points already. Weird. Oh god, that's so much damage. Alright, let's try to heal real quick. Okay, that was some damage to watch out for. Is he like trying to f he's just he's just he, he looks like he's just falling over on me, basically. Can I heal? Yeah, alright. Watch out, watch out, watch out. No, don't don't die this late in the fight. It's so close to getting being over with, and I don't want to farm again. Fuck you. Fuck you. That was easy. <laughs> that was a pretty easy fight, actually. I did it. Nightmare slain. The secret was hitting him with a really, really big- Oh my god, 230,000 blood echoes. Well, in New Game Plus, I guess I'm leveling. Are you cold? <laughs> oh, good hunter. Did I just become a slug leech monster? Is that what I'm supposed to get from there? Wait, that's the final cutscene? <laughs> that's it? That's the <laughs> Oh, From Software doesn't even slightly care about having like a story that like you can understand just by like, oh yeah, I just played the game and I know exactly what happened. It's like, no, we're gonna have to spend 17 years reading about lore and cross-referencing pronouns and compare proper nouns. I use the word pronoun a lot incorrectly, don't I? Whoops. Uh, but people are gonna have to compare so many things and figure out so many details to figure out what exactly the story is here, but... We're maybe in a dream, or not, and we killed the first hunter who was going to give us mercy, or not. But maybe was on our team all along, but also maybe not. And then there was a horrible moon thing called the Moon Presence, which maybe is from the moon, I guess, and maybe... Maybe it has ties to the origin of the nightmare, or the dream. Or maybe it has ties to Hunter's Dream, or maybe it has ties to the, the sickness in the first place. Or maybe this entire game exists within a dream and doesn't make any sense in the first place. Or I, I don't, I don't know, man. I'm just one person, I can't do this. So yeah, Moon Presence, not that, uh, secret boss, secret ending. Not that hard overall, though, compared to the, especially compared to German himself, but, uh, I'd say blood- I had more trouble with bloodletting beasts than either of them, frankly, although at least- at least Garman is a really cool- a really cool fight. Those are- those are both fairly cool fights. I was surprised how squishy Moon Present seemed to be. He clearly had a move that reduced my hit points down to, like, nothing, but then didn't kill me, and he would just kind of stick around for a while, which meant that I could just sit there and get my hit points back by hitting him a lot, which seemed to work pretty well. Uh... Yeah, not much to say, that was pretty straightforward. So this was Bloodborne. I enjoyed it quite a lot. It's a very good game. Might be, it's entirely possible it'll be my favorite game at the by the end of the year. Although Witcher Three comes out pretty soon here, and we'll see how that goes. Yes, I will absolutely be playing that. Uh, look forward to new game plus playthroughs of uh, of this game. A uh, little, a bit of a weird thing in this game. Every other Souls game, I do new game plus, and it's like, oh yeah, we just play it again. In this case. It's kind of a continuation of the series, though, because while the main campaign is entering New Game Plus, the Chalice Dungeons don't give a shit whether or not I'm in a New Game Plus or New Game or New Game Plus Plus or whatever. They don't get affected by that. And I still have two more entire types of Chalice Dungeons to explore. The Ailing Lauren and Is and Great Is Chalice, however those are pronounced. Uh, and that's what we'll be doing in the next series as we progress through the main campaign. We'll also be playing those Chalice Dungeons and seeing how that goes. So that'll be fun. And it'll be cool to be playing through the game as a fully formed character with a bunch of attacks instead of being like, oh, this is the two weapons I have access to, I guess that's what I'm stuck with. And, uh, I th we got a badge from Garmin, which infers that I get equipment from Garmin. I assume it's going to be his cool scythe weapon, otherwise that's a wasted weapon on just the final boss. It'd be cool to be able to play through the game with that. So we'll see how that goes. Scythe weapons tend to be dexterity weapons, or skill weapons in this game's case, so... If that's true to the usual trend, that means it'll actually build, it'll actually accompany my build pretty well. Although, I guess my build stopped being a skill build over the course of the game and became a I have points and everything build, so I can kind of use whatever weapon I want to. 
and just leveling up more makes everything more powerful as time goes on. So, uh, look forward to New Game Plus. Also, if you guys are new here, be sure to check out my original Souls playthroughs. I had like 200 plus episodes of Souls games before I even started playing uh, Bloodborne, which is now at over 70 episodes itself. I did a full playthrough of Demon Souls. I did a full playthrough of Dark Souls, including the expansion, the Prepare to Die expansion with Artorias of the Abyss. I did a full playthrough of Dark Souls 2. Uh, then, I, then I went back and did a playthrough again of, uh, of Demon Souls with my friend Wanderbot, because he was visiting town, and we sort of traded off the controller and, and chatted while we played through the entire game. So that's another playthrough to watch of Souls games. Uh, I have a number of co-op episodes of an incomplete series, but it's just kind of fun, of, three, of a three-player co-op in Dark Souls 2, just messing around and having a lot of funny deaths because you have kind of low hit points when you're summoned in that game and that kind of n mess happens. I also have a New Game Plus playthrough of Dark Souls 2. That's my only New Game Plus playthrough that already exists. Uh, it's not done as of, as of right now, but I'm, I'm planning on finishing it very soon before I start my New Game Plus playthrough of Scholar of the First Sin because, by the way, you guys mostly know this, but for future people watching this in the future that don't know the state of my channel, I also have a playthrough of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, which I also plan on taking into New Game Plus in the near future when I finish the third DLC, which I'm actually getting, I'm actually in the ballpark of being in that territory too. So I'm gonna have New Game Plus playthroughs of this game and Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin running in parallel. I am gonna slow down my episode output a little bit, I think my current plan is to have each of those two games alternating on separate days once they're in New Game Plus, just because I went for, I, for a while I had two two episodes of each game going per day, then one per day of each. Now it's going to be one Souls game episode period per day, just because I'm like, I've already played these games, we don't need to focus on them that heavily in New Game Plus. I'll do New Game Plus all the way through, but I want to focus on the new releases and games we haven't fully played through yet, so we don't stagnate and play the same game every day forever. Also. Let's be fair here. This is bad. This is stressful. <laughs> so, uh, playing the extent of Souls games I do sometimes can, is probably not the best for my health or just my mood sometimes, as much as I love them. So, expect more Souls games probably forever as long as this channel goes on. I'll probably be pl doing new gimmicky playthroughs of like, this is a no shield run, or this is a magic run, or this is new game plus of each playthrough, but uh, I'll slow down a little bit to focus on Witcher 3.